Warm greetings everyone, fans of the Mega Drive and retro gaming in general. My name is Nick, we're playing, well, a third game in a series of games from the Streets of Rage series. They've named this one Streets of Rage 3. I don't know, I don't know how they think of these names. But this was published by Sega in 1994. Uh, it's known in Japan as Bare Knuckle 3, I believe. It's a scroller beaten up, but I'm sure you know all about that if you know anything about computer games at all. The first game was brilliant, the second game well, I thought was brilliant but not quite well, but, you know, it's an argument which is the best out of the first and the second one. So here's the third one, we'll keep it on normal mode and we'll see how I get on. I'm the only player here, it's a two player game so I don't sure how long I will last but it's all about having a bit of fun, seeing how the game played and uh, getting a bit of an idea as, as a kid would you have gone back to it again? So here's the characters, you've got Axel, Blaze, Skate or this fella. Um, I think we'll choose Blaze this time because we haven't cho chosen her in the uh, other games. The choices were Axel Stone was a karate man, Blaze Fielding, uh, Eddie Sammy Skater, someone or other who's only 14, and the bloke at the end was Dr. Gilbert Zan or Zen, and he's a cyborg, but we won't be playing as him. What's happening in this game? Well, uh, I think uh, a mad gang has taken over the city again. Um, the city is under attack by a weapon called Rakushan, and you've got to defeat the people that are in charge of it. But essentially, it's the same same sort of thing. Horizontal scrolling, beat people up. Here she is, Blaze, the best looking of everyone in the game. Whoops, there's extra moves in this as well, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch everything. Now, what I don't want to do is keep going to the same move each time to try and get through. There seems to be more depth in this one initially than the other games. Uh, a bit like Golden Axe, if you do right twice in succession or left twice in succession, you do a bit of running. But uh, don't get too clever with it. She's wearing some interesting clothes, this Blaze, Blaze Fielding. Uh, I don't know if she's related to Noel Fielding from the Mighty Bush. She's certainly wearing the same sort of clothes that he would wear, in particular the boots. If you're watching Noel Fielding, which we all know you're not, then hello to you. I like your work, sir. Right, here we go. The music is quite funky in this one, as it was in the first two. I'm having a techno attack. Yeah, you won't see old Greg in this from uh, the Mighty Bush. Old Greg. Yeah. Right, take that, you. And if you haven't ever watched Mighty Boosh, you, you don't know what I'm going on about. But, you know, old Greg, he sang that song, didn't he? Do you love me? Are you playing your love games with me? Right, let's get back to Street Fighter. No, Street Fighter 3. Streets of Rage 3, and she's dead already. Who put this on normal? It was me. Now, Nick, don't die on level 1. Now, you do get a few uh, continues on this, so if I lose all my lives, I might go back in. You've seen all her moves I can do. She can do throws and kicks, which will say fire a lot. Fire. Lots of clones attacking us that you would expect in this game, but it's another cracker. Initially, I'm sort of like um, preferring the second one, but we'll see what happens here. It's a bit early to say yet at a moment, but it's the same sort of thing. I prefer these to the Double Dragon games, but admittedly, I think I've only reviewed Double Dragon 2, which wasn't particularly good, and I picked up a club. We'll have to come to Double Dragon 3 at some point. Right, that guy's going to jump down, I'd imagine, unless he's... Yeah, here he comes. Let's hit him for a home run. Home run. Do 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 Right, smash these boxes. Should be stuff in there. Is there? Don't know. I want to rejune my energy. I was hoping there'd be some food there we can pick up. Clobber. There we go. How'd you like that? How'd you like that? Or someone with a knife coming on. He was present in the first two games, but now he's... Well, he's... There we go. I like the way those chains rock when you um, throw people about the place. That's quite cool. Bash. Biff. Smackaroonie. Say your favourite Batman uh, sound effect from the old Batman show. Fire. This girl can pack a bunch. She looks a bit like, um, I don't know, Liz Hurley from the first uh, Austin Powers film. Does this predate the first Austin Powers film? 1994. Let me know. It's, it's close, wouldn't it? Now... There's um, those guys out of Reservoir Dogs for some reason shooting at me. I think we should be able to walk around their bullets though, as you would do. Gentle run. No, walk around the bullets. Smack. Right, I think we've got this now. This is the timing. So, two guys, walk around the bullets. Oh no, I got a, well, I got a bullet in the breastplate there, which isn't very good. Right, that must be them dead now, for sure. You see their energy level gone? Good. And that's got off the first stage, I think. I think the stages are divided into parts, so it might not necessarily be the first stage, yeah. This is still stage one. Some bully boy there, and there's a weapon. If I can get hold of that, there's a couple of weapons. There's a good old uh, Streets of Rage pipe there. 
It's not the pipes of peace, as explained by, um, uh, what was his name at the Beatles? Paul McCartney, the pipes of peace. Here's a pipe of peace, fatty. Smack. Dish. Take that. Oh, we're being surrounded here. Always trickier in one player as these games, as they all pick on one single girl on her own in her silver boob tube. Oh man, if you are a girl with a silver boob tube, comment in the comment section below. Is this reflective of your day, or is this completely unrealistic? We need to know. Uh, actually, this is quite enjoyable, this. I, I can't decide whether... I, well, originally I thought the second one was better. I can't decide now. The music's just crazy talk. Oh, motorbikers, they might be a problem for this gal. Pick up the apple, get your energy. Smooth in. Would I play this a lot as a kid? Hell yes. First, second and third one. Is there a Street to Rage 4 out now? I might have asked that before. I don't mind getting that. Right, now. There's a lot of guys getting off speedboats here that we have to take out. Fire. Shout fire. Oh, he's... Cool, look at that. Nice kick and the whole motorbike crashes in half. I'm not sure that's possible. See the clouds in the background? They're slowly going past. So the background is moving. Feel the power. Excellent stuff. If you like these reviews, if you're watching them and haven't re re subscribed yet, please do so, because it does help me and gives me the incentive to keep going, and you could have a lot more of this rubbish. How about that then, buster? I'm getting, I'm getting way too excited here. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's fun day. It's punch in the face day. Kill all the pixels. We've had a bad Monday at work, or you might have had a good Monday, but ease the stress by beating everyone up, dressed up as a girl in a silver underwear. Excellent. Take that, you. Yes. Karate Chop. Now, we have reviewed this game before, but um, not exactly this version. It was Streets of Rage 3 on the PlayStation 3, and it was, oh, look at these guys. It was, uh, what was it? It was um, the ultimate pack collection or something. We didn't control this character though, so it's good to catch up with Noel Fielding, I mean Blaze Fielding. Come on Blaze, it's an unusual name there, isn't it? Uh, if um, if we uh, get killed at some point, I might continue with the skater boy, Eddie. Eddie Sammy skater face, um, see how we get on. Now the people keep getting off on that boat. We're determined to get off stage one. It keeps saying uh, press start and player two there. If player two does turn up, that'd be most welcome. Maybe I should invite someone round at one point, give them a microphone, and we both comment on a two-player game. That'd be quite good. Yeah, that's an idea, isn't it? Two people commenting, then I won't have to talk the whole time. I can leave it over to him every now and again. Ice. Maybe that's an online thing we can do or some other game. Actually, that that would be the dream, actually. We have about eight other retro gamer commentators, all online, and we all record it, and um, I edit it together, or someone edits it together. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, that would. I don't know whose channel we put it up on though, so we have to do some sort of arrangement. I don't think it'll happen actually, getting it all arranged would be crazy talk. But it'd be good to do one can but dream. So, oh come on. Bush, bash, bush. Maybe when I've won the lottery or become a zillionaire, I'll have a sort of like a recording studio with it all mic'd up and we'll all do podcasts together. Maybe that'd be good. So you just turn up and you just come in and all mic'd up, lots of cameras on everyone and they get edited by magic. Uh, if Blaze Fielding can turn up, that'd be quite good. I don't know if she's still about. Uh, why do they all want to beat up this girl for? It's just not fair. Fire! Uh, mm, she looks quite high maintenance, this girl, as we dance all around each other. Lift! Right, that's him dead, I believe. Is that the end of stage one? Please say the end of stage one. It's not the end of stage one, we're somewhere else now. Kick the bin. Money! Money, 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 must be funny in a rich man's world. Well, there's going to be some crazy end of level boss at some point if I actually get there. And I think this is my last life left before we have to start using amazing credits. You not got credit? Fire! I mean, you could probably defeat this game, keep using the same move, but I'm trying to keep it interesting for you. Jumps and kicks. Oh no, who's that? Some woman with a cattle prod's turned up. It might be. Yeah, I don't know who that is. It's some girly from the Wild West. Might be Dolly Parton, actually. There's her friend in pink hair. I think that might be Beyonce. So I'm being attacked by Beyonce and Dolly Parton. Or is it Nicki Minaj? No, one part of her body doesn't seem quite big enough. You can work out what part that is. 
Smackaroonie. It's a girl fight. To put it, the, the polite term on it. Right, off we go. What's happened to the scenery there? Anyway, there's Red Sky trying to filter its way in. Now, end of level boss time. It's a karate dude. Oh, that's it, isn't it? Maybe we get Blaze out. There's Skate there, right? The Skater Man. He's on roller skates and already. Hmm, already is my least favourite character. Oh, what can he. Oh, we can do a little spin. And a 14 year old kid on skates is not the ideal person to try and take out some ninja samurai masterman, which I'm suddenly realising. How would he feel in real life if some kid <laughs> aged 14 turned up? Well, that's it, good. Just keep on skating. He's always got a head for safety, this bloke, Eddie, because he's got a crash helmet on. And that's good. His mum will be pleased. Oh, man. This guy needs to be arrested by the police, and he's dead. Well done. Well done, 14 year old Eddie. He will have. Who's that? He will avenge. He avenged Blaze Fielding, and stage one is finally clear. So the stages are quite a bit longer in this, divided into certain sections. Boop, boop. Sound a bit like the Spectrum then. There's the gang, but um, I'm the only one here because we can't. Certainly can't have four player. Uh, be good if you could, but you can't. No one told me a thing. Right, that's uh, that's another guy there. That's Doctor Gilbert. There's Blaze. We know he got killed, but she's back alive again. What a gang! I hope you're right. Well, I hope you're following this story. But all it tantamounts down to, if tantamount is a word, uh, is is uh, beating people up. Right, stage two. Can't guarantee I'll get all the way here. Cause this seems slightly more difficult than. Um, yeah, and the other ones. But lots of frames here, lots of colours, uh, different soundtrack again. I think my preference is for the second game. Um, first game's good. It's, they're so close. I mean, this this is quality game as well. I mean, I don't think I've picked. This is my least favourite character, so I'm not going to get the best out of the game with this fella. I should have picked. I should have picked Axel. He's probably better suited for taking out these motorbikes, where you've got to do a kick and time it just about right. If you complete this game, let me know, because I think there will be quite a lot of you out there that have completed it, especially because it's got an easy mode. If you completed it in the hard mode, then uh, well done you. Uh, tell everyone about it and show off, and I I'd imagine there might be a few of you there. Great game, it's one of the big ones. We'll continue reviewing Sega Mega Drive games, time uh, permitting. We have covered quite a lot of the big ones now. Um, I'd imagine there's still a few big ones uh, left to do, but do check out the Mega Drive playlist if you're into Mega Drive games. Started on the first one we did was uh, Outrun, and then just worked ever since from there. About one a week or so. Oh man, look, come on, right, come on, skater Eddie. Uh, if you are 14 on skates and you look a bit like this, um, yeah, comment below. Everyone, comment below. I don't, well, I don't know why to be choosy. Right now versus Punk Town. It's Moecan City, um, not to say everyone with Moecan isn't a bad evil person, there's Mr. T, he was in the A-Team, he was quite good, um, and there's lots of others I'm sure. Right. Smack. Yeah. It's, um, it, I don't think Jet Set Willy be fine here, that'd be a good selection character. If you're unfamiliar with the Spectrum, you won't know what that is. Boom. Oh man. This is, this is going to be a bit tough. I think from memory, the end level boss, or a mid level boss here, is a kangaroo and his trainer. I might be remembering it wrong. We'll, we'll find out eventually. Right, these two guys dress up like the Joker in purple with green hair on. But not um, as formidable as the Joker. Batman. Oh, oh man. Batman would do well in this. Imagine a Batman skin. If this was a Batman game, imagine that. It's a shame there isn't more mods really for the Mega Drive. When the ZX Spectrum, they're easier moddable the games, and Commodore Amiga as well. You don't get any, you don't tend to get any mods like this. Uh, I'd love a Batman mod. Imagine if one person was Batman, the other one was Robin. Uh, you have a choice of different design Batman, um, the Joker, lots of goons around the place, end of level bosses like the Penguin. Be absolutely sensational, wouldn't it? Please do that. But I don't know how easy it is to mod these. They all come on cartridges, so you don't actually see the program or anything. Right, I think I've got him. Skate away, skate up to him, jump. Oh, he's dead, right. Smash that, there's going to be an apple underneath. Replace the energy, oh, we didn't get full energy there. Right, it was right, so there's the kangaroo and his mad circus trainer. We've got to take out both of these, just armed with our skates and whatever we've got. 
Right, it's not it's not fair, a kangaroo and a ringmaster versus a 14-year-old kid. How often have we seen that story? Um, uh, none, I don't think. Anyway. I, can, I should be able to take out these boys, shouldn't I? Yes. Right, what's their energy bar? Look at their energy bar. I think that's one taken care of, isn't it? My energy bar isn't looking great. Is that, I'm on zero strength as well, aren't I? Oh, this is going to be a close call, this. This is going to be a very close call. Let's take one of those out. I only need to hit me one more time, and I think I'm dead. Not to quote a Britney Spears song. Oh. No, this is toxic. Stop quoting Britney Spears songs. Oh. Oops, I did it again. Oh, man. Is that it? Oh, that's it. It's game over. Well, like, you know, I did about a stage and a half. That wasn't bad on normal mode, was it? Wasn't bad at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really like that game. It's hard to separate three awesome games. Streets of Rage, Streets of Rage 2, Streets of Rage 3. But if I had to, I'd say second one is the favourite and first and third one is probably a tie. Or the first one is slightly easier and get more into it. So yeah, good game, good game all round. Well worth getting into as a kid. I would have gone back and back and back. And good music in all of them, really. So I hope you liked having a look at that. That was Streets of Rage 3 on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. Depending on where you are in the world. Published by Sega in 1994. Got any comments about this game? Similar games or anything retro then please put that below until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye